Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about words that are hardly ever used in everyday language, but you can find them in literature. Some of these words are also used to sound more formal, humorous, or sophisticated. Don't overuse them, but it's worth knowing them. Here, we're only going to have a look at a small selection. The first word is to imbibe. To imbibe means to drink. Here's an example. The young lady imbibed vast quantities of tea. Next we have toil, which means hard work. After years of toil and sweat, he finally managed to gather a little sum of money for the trip of his dream. Okay, next we have swift. Swift means fast. The swift river current carried her body for miles until it finally was eaten by a crocodile. Okay, next we have demise. Demise means death. The traveler met his demise in the middle of the desert. Then we have attire. Attire means clothes. The princess always wore her best royal attire, even when she walked through the fields and meadows. Okay, next, tidings. Tidings means news. We had all heard good tidings. The epidemic was over. You could read about it in each and every newspaper those days. Fair. Fair means food. They had the best fare they could have imagined as vegetarians. Scribe. A scribe is a writer. The scribe spent half his life copying and translating holy manuscripts, and is also the author of quite a few himself. Hail. Hail means healthy. At the age of 80, my grandfather decided to go to university. He's still active in sports. He's a hale and hearty old man. Betwixt. Betwixt means between. Suddenly, he looked right betwixt the Medusa's eyes and was turned to stone. Penurious. Penurious means poor. The penurious fishermen were facing starvation that year. Something in the water had killed most of the fish. Slumber. Slumber means sleep. And after that, they all fell into deep slumber, which was to last for a very long time. Thoroughfare. A thoroughfare means road. The thoroughfare was not very safe back then, so we decided not to travel by night. To converse. To converse means to talk. They found a place where they could converse quietly, far away from the crowds. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.